Um, last chapter, we have uh, learned the Fourier transform. And uh, a signal can be represented in the time domain, and it can also be represented in the frequency domain. Uh, this formula can transform a time domain signal into the uh, frequency domain. And uh, uh, in uh, uh, the, the, this function, capital X of J omega, it is uh, uh, a function of omega, or or we can say it is a function of J omega. J omega is a, a pure imaginary number. Uh, so we can, if we replace J omega with sigma plus J omega, uh, it becomes a, a, a general complex number. Then we obtain the X of sigma plus J omega. Uh, so this, uh, this is just the Laplace transform. Uh, uh, if we denote uh, sigma plus j omega uh, by s, then this is the uh, the standard uh, formula for the Laplace transform. Uh, here, I want to mention uh, what I want to mention is that uh, uh, you can uh, see you can see that uh, the La Laplace transform. Uh, you can understand it as the Fourier transform of x, x of t times exponential minus sigma t. So if you split uh, the, the, the exponential into two terms, exponential minus sigma t times exponential minus j omega t, then it becomes under the, uh, you put the x of t and exponential minus sigma t together, it becomes uh, uh, the, the, the definition of the Fourier transform. Uh, so the, the Laplace transform is an extension of the Fourier transform. Uh, uh, some uh, uh, in the lecture on Wednesday, we uh, Professor Zhao ha, ha, has give uh, Give, give some examples uh, of the Laplace transform. I think the most uh, important two are this one, uh, x of t equals exponential minus a t u, u of t, and, uh, and uh, this one, x of t equals minus exponential minus a t u of minus t. Uh, these two signals, uh, uh, have the same expression of Laplace transform. Uh, they are both uh, x of s uh, equals s plus, uh, one over s plus a, but their uh, ROC are different. Uh, uh, this one, the ROC is, uh, the, the real part of s is larger than minus a, and uh, this one, uh, the real part of s is smaller than uh, minus a. So uh, uh, in Fourier transform, we we didn't uh, we, we we don't have the concept of ROC, but in the Laplace transform, after you uh, calculating the the, uh, the expression of the uh, Laplace transform, there you must specify the their ROC. Uh, when you uh, do your homework or uh, take take the exam. Uh, you uh, don't forget, forget to uh, specify the the ROC of the Laplace transform. And uh, this two uh, this uh, these two Laplace transforms are very important. You must uh, uh, remember them. And in your exercise, in your homework, in your exams, you will see a lot of problems that uh, you. Uh, uh, you need to use uh, uh, the, 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 this uh, uh, Laplace transform pairs, this one and uh, and this one. Uh, you must uh, remember them. And uh, uh, 
And there are some properties of uh, the Laplace transform. Uh, I see that there is a question in the chat uh, for the RC and the holes really to draw the graph every time. Uh, you don't need to uh, draw them every time. Uh, if the problem, uh, in the problem, it asks you to uh, uh, just uh, to specify the RLC, then you just uh, need to uh, write the, the RLC in this form. The real part of S is uh, which int interval is uh, is uh, is uh, in which interval. If it asks you to plot the RLC, then you need to to, to draw the uh, to draw the the complex plane. And uh, the, the linearity, uh, this is a very easy uh, x of t, the Laplace transform is x of s, y of t, the Laplace transform is y of s, uh, their linear combination, the Laplace transform is also uh, the same li linear combination, but the RC contains uh, the intersection of R1 and R2. Uh, uh, just now, Professor Zhao has given some examples uh, to show why it uh, it says that it, the R C contains R1, uh, the intersection of R1 and R2, not uh, a specific uh, region. Uh, I think you have uh, have understand uh, have understood. Good. And uh, the convolution, just now Professor Zhao has also uh, uh, explained. And so we can see that uh, in the uh, Fourier transform form, we have learned that the, uh, the, the convolution in time domain, the, uh, uh, the multiplication in the frequency domain, and for the Laplace transform, we have a similar property. Uh, the, the convolution in the time domain, uh, the multiplication in, in the S domain. And mm, uh, there, there, there are some other properties that uh, uh, Professor Zhao said he will uh, explain on next Wednesday, but uh, uh, in homework five, there are some uh, problems that you need to, you need to use these properties. So I need to uh, explain more. Uh, the, the the time shift the time shift property. If you have a, a signal x of t, its Laplace transform is x of s, and uh, the the RLC is R, and then if you have a time shifted version of the signal x of t, it is x of t minus t zero, then the Laplace transform uh, becomes the, the original Laplace transform x of s times uh, exponential minus s, uh, s t zero. Uh, this is uh, very similar to the result in the Fourier transform. In the Fourier transform, we learned that uh, if you uh, the the time shift version of the uh, uh, the time shift uh, the the signal x of t minus t zero uh, the the the, uh, the Fourier transform is uh, x of j omega times exponential minus j omega at t zero. So they are the uh, are very similar. Uh, but uh, don't forget the ROC. Uh, it is uh, the ROC that does not change. Uh, and the time scaling property. Uh, it is uh, this is also very similar to the uh, the case in a Fourier transform. If you have a uh, x of t, the the Laplace transform is x of s. Then you scale the x of t. Uh, it becomes x of uh, a, a t, then its Laplace transform is x of s over a times 
one over uh, the uh, absolute value of A. And the ROC also changes, it becomes uh, AR. Uh, what does it mean by AR? Well, for example, uh, uh, if you have uh, the ROC is, for example, it is the real part of S, uh, is larger than one and smaller than two, then the 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 ROC of uh, the original ROC is uh, between one and two, and the new ROC, uh, for example, A is equal to two, then the new ROC is uh, from uh, two to four. You just uh, uh, time uh, multiply the A. Uh, you just multiply the the uh, 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 the the the, the uh, a by the uh, the interval uh, the special case this is more useful and in your homework you need to use this property so I need to uh, mention it uh, the okay I will uh, uh, let me explain this one. Uh, X of, uh, uh, if you have a signal X of T, its Laplace transform is X of S. If you do the time reflection, uh, uh, you will have X of minus T, then you have uh, the, its Laplace transform is X of minus S. The R of T is minus R. Hmm. Uh, you can, uh, what is minus R? Uh, 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 let's uh, uh, take uh, the, uh, let's take an example. Uh, uh, for example, uh, if you, the original ROC is uh, from, from one to two, then the, the, the new ROC is from minus two to minus one. Or uh, if your original ROC is uh, uh, the real part of S is larger than one, then the, the new ROC is the uh, real part of S is smaller than minus one. Uh, so the, 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 the ROC is minus R. Uh, this is why you need to use in your homework. And uh, differentiation, uh, integration. Uh, uh, Professor Zhao will will talk about will talk about them in on next Wednesday. So I just uh, uh, have a quick look. Uh, if you uh, there. Uh, have a, an original signal x of t, you calculate the, the derivative of x of t, dx of t over dt, then uh, its original, uh, then it's uh, how, uh, the, the Laplace transform is s times x of s, and the ROC contains r. And you have also the, the, the dual property. If you calculate the derivative in the S domain, then in the time domain, um, uh, the, the, the time domain signal becomes X of T times uh, minus T. And the, the ROC uh, is the same. So these two are the dual property. And uh, integration, um, if uh, this is the original signal and the original Laplace transform, and if you calculate the integral of the signal, then the new Laplace transform become, becomes X of S uh, multiplied by one over S. And this is the, the ROC. Uh, uh, next Wednesday, Professor Zhao will, will 
explain more about uh, this property. And the time scaling, uh, especially the time reflection and the, the, the time, time shifting, uh, you need to use uh, these two properties to do your homework. So uh, pay attention to them. And the next, uh, let's look at some uh, examples. Uh, last time, Zhe Yuan posted, uh, posted some exercise exercise problems on the blackboard. Uh, I don't know if you have uh, have looked at them. Uh, let's look at them uh, together today. Uh, this, uh, uh, he posted two exercise documents and the exercise two is about uh, some problems are, are about the Laplace transform. So let's have a look at them. Uh, this problem three, it is about the Laplace transform. Uh, there are some simple uh, signals. So it asks you to uh, calculate the Laplace transform. So let's uh, look at them one by one. Um, The first one, x of t is equal to exponential minus 2t u of t plus exponential 3t u of minus t. Uh, calculate the, determine the Laplace transform. Uh, this is very easy. Uh, just now I said that you must uh, remember two uh, uh, Laplace transform pairs. Uh, this one and, and this one. So if you can, uh, you are familiar enough with these uh, uh, Laplace transform pairs, then you can work it out very quickly. Uh, let's look at the, the answers directly. Um, the Okay, you just uh, directly apply the, the, the result in the slice. The, the Laplace transform of uh, exponential minus 2t u of t, it is, uh, uh, the Laplace transform is one over s plus two. And uh, this one, uh, the Laplace transform is minus one over S minus three. Uh, you see that the, the, here it is a uh, uh, it is a plus sign. So uh, you need to add a, uh, you need to write an additional minus sign here. And uh, the new Laplace transform is uh, the linear combination of the the, the two uh, Laplace transform. And the, 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 the RC is the intersection of the, the two. Uh, it is from uh, R, the, the, the real part of S is from minus two to three. And the second, uh, the problem B, X of T is uh, uh, exponential T U of minus T exponential uh, minus 5t sine 5t u of t. Uh, let's directly look at the answer. Uh, uh, there are two terms in this signal. The first part, uh, you can uh, apply directly uh, the last Laplace transform pairs to calculate, uh, to, uh, to write uh, to determine the Laplace transform. And the second one, uh, you need to use the, the, the definition of the Laplace transform. So the Laplace transform of the second term, uh, you use the standard formula, the, 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 inter, uh, the integral, 
um, and you write the, you copy the, the signal here and exponential minus st dt, then you notice that there is a u of t. So you can change the lower limit of the integral from minus infinity to zero. And, and then the u, u of t can be removed. And then you use the, you can use the Euler's formula uh, x uh, sine uh, 5t, it is exponential j5t minus exponential minus j5t over 2j. And then you uh, further split the, this expression into two terms. Uh, the first term, you uh, combine the, the, the exponents of the, the signal minus five plus j, uh, j times five minus s. And the second one, uh, minus five s minus five j minus s, uh, the, the, uh, it is uh, the integral of the exponential sig uh, signal is also the same exponential signal and with an additional factor here. And then you calculate the, the difference uh, between the, the upper limit and the lower mean, limit. Uh, when t uh, goes to inf uh, plus infinity, you need to uh, uh, determine when the, um, the limit exists. Uh, you can see uh, the 5j is uh, just uh, uh, the, the, the phase and uh, the, the real part of minus 5 minus s is the determines the, uh, the magnitude of the signal. So if you want, uh, want the, the limit to converge, you need to guarantee that the real part of minus five minus s is smaller than zero, then when t of, uh, goes to infinity, uh, the, the amplitude will goes to zero. So the RC, the real part of s is rather than minus five. And the second way, uh, the second one in a similar way, you can, um, uh, determine the ROC, it is uh, oh, oh, let's uh, continue to uh, this problem. Uh, so the the first one, the, uh, if you want to add it to of Minus five minus s smaller than uh, smaller than zero. Five, right, right. And then the second one, if you want uh, this limit to guarantee uh, to converge, then you need to. Uh, oh, oh, okay. They are the same. Only the. Uh, only the, the, the imagine, um, imaginary part are, are different, but the in, in, imagine, um, imaginary part uh, does not uh, uh, do not have an effect on, on the uh, convergence of the limit. So the, the ROC are the same. And uh, if you write uh, the, the expression in this way, it is also okay. Uh, you, you need to, to, to remove the zero. Uh, it is okay. If you want the result to be more beautiful, you can uh, combine them together. And you, you, the, the final result is the S plus five squared plus, um, plus 25 on the denominator and five on the numerator. The ROC is the real part of S is larger than minus five. And uh, this is the second part of the, the original signal. Don't forget the first part. Um, the, you can directly 
apply the the, the transform pairs and write the expression and the ALC and the linear combination of the the signal uh, the, the lab, uh, the signal the Laplace transform is also the linear combination and the the ROC is the, the intersection. And uh, let's look at the third example. Uh, X of t is equal to the absolute value of t times exponential minus two times absolute value of t. Uh, let's directly look at the answer. So oh, there is uh, the absolute value. You need to um, remove the absolute value. Then you need to split the, 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 the signal into two parts. The first part uh, correspond uh, to the, well, the case when t is smaller than zero, because here is a u of minus t. So when you when t is smaller than zero, the absolute value of t is equal to minus t, and the, the on the exponent, the exponential uh, the uh, it becomes the two t, and the second part corresponds to the case when t is larger than zero. You can uh, directly remove the, the absolute sign. And oh, in this uh, in this problem, you need to. Uh, it is uh, more convenient to use the the, the differentiation property in the S domain. Uh, we have C just now. Uh, This one, because uh, if we, we if you want to use the the Laplace transform pairs, uh, but uh, you find that you cannot directly apply apply the the, the pair uh, because there is an additional t. Uh, you notice that in the differentiation property. Uh, in the time domain, if a signal is multiplied by a, by t in the s domain, it is the derivative of the original Laplace transform. So, so we can first uh, calculate the, the Laplace transform of uh, of exponential two t u of minus t. Um, and then you calculate the derivative for with respect to s. Then you can obtain the uh, the, the Laplace transform of the, the new signal. And the second part, it is uh, in the same. Uh, you can calculate the Laplace transform in the same way. Uh, the result is uh, one of uh, s plus two squared, and uh, you uh, you put them together. The 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 ROC is the intersection. As so, uh, the real part of s is larger than two and smaller than uh, larger than minus two and smaller than two. Mm. If you don't want to use uh, uh, the differentiation property, uh, you can also uh, calculate the Laplace transform you, using the standard definition, uh, the, 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 the infinite integral. And then uh, you need to use the integration by part to calculate the, the Laplace transform. It is uh, a bit uh, a bit difficult, and 
Okay, let's look at the problem B. This one, uh, it is a, it is a constant signal. When t is larger than zero and smaller than one, it takes the value of one, and otherwise it is it takes the value of zero. Uh, this one uh, you need to use the standard formula to calculate the x of s. It is more convenient uh, because you don't have any fast transform pairs to to use. Uh, uh, you calculate the integral x of t, exponential minus st dt, then you substitute x of t into this expression, and then the, it becomes the integral of exponential minus s of st from the inter interval of 0 and 1. I see that there is a question in the comment box. Why the exponential minus 2t u t has a negative sign? Uh, you you see you say here. Uh, uh, this is because, uh, uh, let's look at uh, the depreciation property. Uh, the, uh, the signal x of, uh, x of t is transforms transform is x of s. And uh, if you calculate the derivative in the s domain, then you need to multiply a minus t in the time domain. And in this problem, uh, let's see this problem. Uh, uh, what you know uh, is that you have, uh, you know the Laplace transform of minus, oh no, no, no. Uh, what you know is that the Mm. You can uh, apply the uh, you can apply the 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 Laplace transform pair uh, the minus exponential minus a t u of minus t its Laplace transform is x of s equals s plus a. Uh, on the denominator and the one on the numerator. And in this problem, uh, u of t are the same and exponential minus a t minus a is two, then a is minus two. And uh, Yes, a is minus two, and uh, and then uh, 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 you, uh, we we must be very careful uh, when in this problem you have minus t and the exponential uh, two t minus a is two, then a is minus two, and here is a uh, uh, here is a, a minus sign, and here is a minus sign, and you you don't uh, uh, you 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 first uh, you don't uh, care about the t here, and then you calculate the uh, the Laplace transform of the. Uh, You mean? Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, it is this part. Uh, exponential exponential minus two t u of t, and then you can 
um, can directly apply uh, the first property exponential minus a t u of t then a is equal to two a is equal to two and then uh, if you add an, a minus sign here it doesn't matter because uh, use the linear prob linearity property uh, you add a sign uh, add a minus add a, a minus sign uh, in front of this and then the Laplace transform also have has a minus sign here and why and then uh, because uh, in the front you directly uh, multiply a t but uh, if you want to use the uh, if you want to use the differentiation property uh, here it is a minus t in front of the the signal. So uh, in this way, so uh, so uh, it put the the minus sign in in inside the the derivative. So there is a there is a minus sign. Okay, if you have any question, you can uh, ask. Uh, you can ask after the, the tutorial. I think we don't have enough time. Uh, let's look at the uh, this one. Uh, X of t. You use the Laplace transform, uh, and you take the difference uh, between p n equals one and t equals zero, and it becomes the. Uh, one minus exponential minus s over s. Then you need to check when s goes to zero, uh, what is the limit of this expression? Then you use the, the, the uh, you can use the L'Hopital's uh, uh, rule to calculate the, uh, the limit when s approaches zero. Then you calculate the derivative on the denominator and the, the numerator. The, the, the derivative of the denominator is one and the numerator is uh, exponential minus s uh, uh, and a plus sign. And then you substitute s equals zero. You find that uh, the result is uh, one, and you can also check if s equals one, then the exponential minus uh, when s equals zero, the the exponential becomes uh, one, and the integral between zero and one is one. So when s equals zero, it also hold, holds. You can write a uniform expression. Uh, the Laplace transform and the, the RC is for all S. And the problem E, X of T, uh, this is a, a more complicated signal. When T is larger than zero and smaller than one, X of T equals T and when t is larger than one and smaller than two, x of t is equal to two minus t. So uh, we still need to use uh, the first uh, method. You can uh, directly use the standard formula to calculate the Laplace transform, and you split the the, the integral into two parts. One part corresponds to t larger than uh, is between zero and one, and the second part corresponds to t is uh, right between one and two. Then you calculate the integral. Uh, to cal uh, to to uh, to solve this integral, you need to use the integration by part. Mm, you uh, you need to put the uh, exponential minus st after the 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 the, 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 
uh, the differential sign D, so you put the, the exponential after the D, and then you need to use the, the, the integral integral by part. And so the, uh, the it is a, uh, the, the, the procedure is very complicated and you must uh, be very careful to calculate the, the integral. And, and, um, and here is the result. Um, you, you need also to check whether s equals zero hold. Um, you need to use the lactose uh, the log those uh, uh, rule to calculate the limit when s approaches zero, and you you can find that it also holds. So you can write it in a uniform expression. And okay, I see that there are some questions. Is there a faster method? Uh, yes, there is an alternative method to. to Post it on, on the blackboard. Um, I will ask Zhuyuan to to post it. To post it. And yes, there is an alternative uh, method to calculate the Laplace transform. Uh, you can uh, you notice that this signal is a triangle uh, tri triangle shaped signal. And its derivative is um, is is like this. Here is a um, a platform, and then you shift it and flip flip it uh, down the, uh, the the horizontal axis. And you can um, first calculate the the Laplace transform of this signal and then use the, the integration property to calculate the, the Laplace transform of the original signal. So here, uh, here is the, 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 the procedure. And this signal is denoted by x o of s, then uh, x o of t, and then you calculate the Laplace transform x o of s. Mm. You can, uh, the first part, this part, we have calculated the, the Laplace transform in the, form, in the former problem. It is this result. So you ju I just write it here. And then the second part, you can use the, uh, the linear, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, uh, the time shift property uh, to this part, and you can see that uh, it uh, flipped down to the, uh, the the horizontal axis. So here is an, uh, a minus sign, and then it is shift. Uh, it is the shift version of the uh, this signal to the right by one unit. So using the uh, the time shift property, you need to add an exponential minus s in front of the uh, this part. So this is the uh, the result of the the Laplace transform of this signal and you can write it uh, you can combine the two together and uh, you see that the RC is for all s and then you apply the time integration property because the uh, the integration of this sig signal x of o of t is the the original signal x of t. So if you um, uh, in the time domain you integrate uh, you integrate the the signal, then in the uh, s domain you multiply a uh, one over s. So the result is uh, 
here is an, a more an S on the denominator, and this is the result. You can also check uh, if S equals zero is valid. Uh, it turns out that it is valid, and this is the final result. So uh, this is uh, this is all about today's tutorial. And if you have any uh, have any questions, um, if you don't have any, uh, any questions, this will uh, this is the end of today's tutorial. Uh, uh, okay, uh, I let me uh, oh thank you, thank you. Some I see someone encouraged encourages me. Uh, uh, let's put, let me first uh, stop the recording and